I was first in the United States in April 1944, on my way from Canada back to England during wartime, when I took the Mauritania, the great ocean liner, then a troop ship, from New York Harbor back home. I returned to the United States in 1962, when I spent four months driving around the United States with a friend, visiting almost every state, canyons and deserts, lakes, beaches, cities, towns, Civil War battlefields, Indian War battlefields. And after that visit, I thought, I would like to map the story of this country. I would like to map it from the beginnings, from the arrival of the Indian tribes across the Bering Straits through Alaska, the whole struggle to build up the United States, the spread of America, and also to try to show the constitutional developments, the social developments, the political developments. My American History Atlas, which I bring up to date every three or four years, is the story of the United States in all its manifestations, political, diplomatic, social, the struggle of the South. Every aspect of American history is brought together in these graphic maps, each one of which has text, each one of which tells a story, and each one of which leads on to the next phase of American history. The most recent maps, of course, cover Afghanistan and the Gulf War, and one of my maps shows the McCain-Obama presidential election. Every map has something in it which tells you more about the United States. If you're an American, you can learn about your own country. And if, like me, you're a, a foreigner from another country, you can find something to attract you and draw you in to the United States.